Oh, isn't that dark? Yes, it is. But doesn't that seem a little strange? Please, I'm begging you. You gotta say yes, Doctor. Reverend, please stop asking me. It's not like you'd lose anything by doing this. Just let me borrow your handsome face for a little while. I don't care how many times you ask me, I said I can't do that. First of all, what if she takes it seriously? Then it'll be like killing two birds with one stone, you know? <laughs> I know you can do it, Casanova de Turnus. <sighs> Reverend Doc? Alto, Tatsumi. Oh, come on, you guys ask him to. What's with all the racket? Reverend Gengai is giving me the most sinful and impossible request ever. Request? Oh, I kind of remember him mentioning something about that. What are you asking him to do, Master? It's no big deal. Archeo won't help us deactivate the Prome Wall, so I need to find out how much it'll cost. Oh, I see. And you want the doc to ask Rika herself. Alto? Why are you so reluctant? She's head over heels for you. That's exactly why I can't do it. I really don't feel comfortable using that against her. Why are you so picky? A beautiful woman really likes you. You know who I am, right, Doctor? I'm Great Fang's most stubborn man. Uh, I didn't want to resort to this, but when you first came to Eternus, who took care of you until you got on your feet? I knew I would end up saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Doc, whatever you do, don't panic and tell her Saki's secret. <sighs> Where did my life go wrong? Doctor! Right this way! Uh, hi, Rika. You're early. Of course I am. This is the first time you've ever asked me out on a date. I'm so happy! Doctor, is something wrong? Oh no, nothing. <laughs> so, where do you want to go? Um, uh, you want to go out shopping together or something? <laughs> Why, yes! I'll go anywhere with you. Right, she's in a good mood, Doc. Don't blow it. Indeed. All of our futures are riding on this date. Is he gonna be alright? It looks pretty awkward. Alright, come on, let's follow him. the authentic ones in from somewhere else. And now everyone's selling the knockoffs. Oh, I see. That sounds a bit strange, but it's very cute. Its design concept is fugly cute. It's become really popular in RCL. This cute creature is called Gergo. <laughs> Even its name sounds fugly cute. Oh, sure. You can have it. <sighs> Can't seem to catch up with all the latest trends. Thank you very much. I'll treasure it forever and ever. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Oh, yes. Doctor, can we go to the place where you used to run your clinic? I want to see it again. He doesn't even appreciate Gurgo's greatness? 
Doc, you've just made my boomers. I'm gonna have to give him a talking to about the myriad charms of Gurgo after his date. Uh, Todd, why do you look so pissed? Nothing wrong with your body, is there? There is. I have a slight fever. So could you please take a look at my body? Well, sorry. Today I'm... Uh, off. I can examine you some other time. Is that a promise? Sure, of course. I'll examine you as a ravatologist. I'll perform a thorough and attentive examination. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, I have to go buy some cute panties to wear under the gown just for you. D uh -huh. Or do you like it hot, like sexy lingerie? Which would you prefer, Doctor? Well, I, I can't really say, given that neither one is relevant to your medical examination, you know. Okay, so you like them both, cute and sexy. I've learned something new about you. <laughs> Sure is pretty. I'm so sad that today is almost over. Rika, I want to talk to you about something. Uh, um, I... Uh, I see. You don't seem to be able to confess your eternal love for me. That... Uh... Well... <laughs> you're so strange, Doctor. You're intelligent, dexterous, and versatile. But you're so bad at this. That's what I like about you. I like you so much. My heart aches when you're not around. R Rika! I'm a woman too, you know. When you treat me like a lover, like today, I can't help but develop expectations. Doctor! Would you do me the honor of loving me? I really want to be your wife. My... What are you saying? I'm serious! Rika, I... I can't do that. You're Arkea's number two executive. I knew it. I was aware that you found my position of power to be intimidating. But... If you have me, I'll abandon Arkea in an instant. I don't care if they label me as a heretic. I'm sorry, Rika. Doctor? This date was actually part of a decoy operation we planned. Oh, shit. I 
I'm truly sorry that I took advantage of your feelings for me. I'm sorry. You can pin all the blame on me. Actually, I knew that already. Rika, what did you say? I knew that from the get-go. Everything you did, I'm always watching you. I can always tell when you're lying or when you're telling the truth. So, you came today knowing what our plan was? Why? Because it made me happy. We went out together, and you treated me like I was the only woman in the world. When I proposed to you, if only for a few moments, you seriously considered it. <sighs> I had a lot of fun today. Even if the whole thing was fake, I got to have my dream come true. Thank you. So you folks hiding back there can come out already! Shit. She knew about us, too? <sighs> Dr. Hikari Gojo would never have thought to use this immoral tactic. So, what are your intentions? I see. Your goal was to get your hands on my key to the prom wall. I apologize for trying to deceive you. Despise me to your heart's content. But we must get past the prom wall. Would you please kindly divulge information about the prom wall to us? I beg you too, Miss Rika. All right. You allowed me to live out my fantasy of going on a date with my dream boat. It's only fair to share. Oh, uh, really? Thanks, lady. I really appreciate it. To tell you the truth, Archaea tried to break the wall many times in the past, but we were never able to. It's impossible to destroy the barrier from the outside. Then there's a chance to destroy it from the inside? There are only two options. One is a dove extending an olive branch, whereas the other is a hawk killing its prey. I see. Then would you care to go over this olive branch idea with us first? We can direct the mainframe that administrates over Clistania to obey us. But because that mainframe has its own AI whose personality is extremely crooked, I don't think it would work too well. Then that's not feasible! Well then, what would this hawk be aiming its talons at? Deactivating the Rinkernator. That'll cut the symphonic power to almost everything, including the prom wall. Did you just say the Rinkernator? Yeah, why? Do you know about it or something? That's where I need to go. Where is it? Where? <laughs> Knowing where it is is the easy part, kid. What do you mean? The Rinkernator is at the top of the tower. To get there, you'd have to cut through the heart of Clastania. I don't think I'm licensed to do that. What about you, Doc? On top of that, if you manage to get past Clastanian security, you won't be able to operate the Rinkernator. Why not? It's Clastania's sanctuary. The only person who can operate it is the current Supreme Commander. But that's... Akane. You have to keep in mind that we share the same fate. If we can't do one, we can't do the other either. If it was feasible, we would have done it a long time ago. You shouldn't shoot for the impossible. I won't give up. There must be a way. Alto! Jeez, he's so... Doc, we're going back too. I'm not giving up. We still need a strategy meeting. Ah, yes. Rika, I'm sorry about today. I hurt you for our own selfish reasons. Well, you should be sorry, Doctor. You're an enemy to all women. But I forgive you. Those sweet words that you said to me, were they all just for expediency? The answer to the question you asked me earlier? What? It's, it's not about you. I, I can't forgive what Archaea did to me. It's not that I can't like you.